When searching for a diagnosis, identifying the problem comes first. What went wrong? Why? And how? Knowing the what, why, and how of disease is essential for medical knowledge to be translated into new treatments. Here at Mayo Clinic, the Center for Biomedical Discovery is a vital part of that process. Investigating disease begins in a human cell. Those who study these cellular mistakes are called discovery scientists. They discover how a cell can take the wrong path, causing illness, and the markers along that path. With that information, discovery scientists partner with other medical experts to develop breakthrough treatments for unmet patient needs. Discovery scientists partner with a diverse team. They focus on diseases like cancer and fibrosis, as well as cell aging, immunity, molecular nutrition, and metabolism, which are processes within the body. Diabetes and obesity, for example, are diseases of metabolism. They're linked to how cells process the food we eat. Metabolism and molecular nutrition scientists study this relationship. For example, they identify two different enzymes. Both of these enzymes are linked to fat buildup around the belly, which is related to obesity. Mice with either of these enzymes silenced lost weight on a high-fat diet and live longer. Researchers hope to apply these findings to patients. Another team focuses on the immune system. The immune system is a complex assortment of signals and cells that protect the body. When all is well, immune cells should be watchers, on the lookout for trouble. But when it detects something that doesn't belong, such as a tumor, for example, immune cells have to mobilize to eliminate the cancer. Knowing how to fine-tune our immunity will open possibilities for new therapies in a wide range of diseases, from cancer to allergies. Discovery scientists also study the process of how cells age and change. Old cells that aren't working correctly can be shut down by the body's quality control system. Called senescent cells, these bad apples no longer function, but still broadcast inflammatory signals to the cells around them. Scientists on the cell aging team are experimenting with removing senescent cells, hoping to find new therapies for chronic inflammatory diseases such as arthritis and other age-related ailments. Another disease focus for scientists is cancer. Normally, your body only creates new cells when needed. But sometimes, chemical signals or genetic mistakes disrupt this process. Cells begin to divide uncontrollably, forming tumors that may become cancerous. Cancer cells can also escape the tumor and travel to other parts of the body. Scientists work to identify the mechanisms that contribute to cancer development and its spread, so they can discover new therapies and drugs to stop it. Discovery scientists also investigate fibrosis, the scarring and thickening of tissue that occurs when the body's normal healing response goes haywire. Cells called fibroblasts produce fibers that rebuild the structure of tissue. But in fibrosis, that process doesn't stop when it should. Fibrosis can affect almost any organ in the body. But in the lungs alone, fibrosis is the cause of as many deaths annually as breast cancer by some estimates. By determining what drives this process, researchers hope to provide treatments where there are none today. By starting where disease begins, in the cell, Discovery scientists and the Center for Biomedical Discovery work across medical specialties to speed development of new treatments. Through research on metabolism, the immune system, cell aging, cancer, and fibrosis, discovery scientists working in diverse teams find the knowledge by which breakthroughs are made and patients are saved. Here at Mayo Clinic. <laughs>